Of course, the question on everyone's mind is, how is this man still alive? How is it even possible? Let's go back to Tekken 7. We're gonna break this down in detail. Let's go. This, of course, is the ending of Tekken 7. The narrator for Tekken 7 really sucked the life out of that story. This was the best part. Trading blows. Headbutt, this was actually a great scene. He had this flashback in Tekken 8 with Lars, remember? His dad bullied him, man, and he ended up becoming a bully. <laughs> Right to the chest. And that was enough. It was a great fight. Decides to return the favor. <laughs> this volcano shit, man. Tosses him right into the volcano. We're gonna pause right there. Not at the edge. He's going into the lava. There's no trees. There's no cliff hanging over. <laughs> He's into the center of the lava. Okay, the second you touch this lava, your skin should burn. And we don't see anyone drag him out. Keep in mind, Kazuya stays there and looks at him for at least another five seconds. By that time, this man's body and skin should have completely melted. So him coming back in his own body is stupid already. There's literally no way around that. That is just dumb. So even if he is resurrected, his body should be completely melted and in shambles, right? And look at Kazuya, he sticked around. There should be nothing left of him at that point. Hold up, did you see that? Who's that, people? Looks like freaking Ogre. And of course, we see from the latest trailer, this man walks out with a couple of scars. Somewhere Kazumi is turning in her grave. In fact, y'all made Akuma look stupid. You brought him into the game for him to do nothing. He was supposed to kill at least two men. He failed at that both. Wow, Tekken 7 rendered completely useless. It only had a few good chapters, and the last chapter was the best one, and it was rendered useless. But yeah, we don't even know. This might be some kind of a misdirect. There's a lot going on in this... They actually tell you a few things about Heihachi's monks right here. They all have his moveset. set. 
Again, the guy can return, but just keep him out of the cannon story. It's not that hard to do. And so quick as well. He has honed his body and technique exquisitely. There's a resurrection. Yet his mind... Imbalance. Are we going with some M. Bison shit here? Maybe he's trying to get a new body or some shit? Definitely some ritual here. Maybe that's the resurrection that brings him back. Lydia gonna have an important role. That's... Her dad's dead, right? He died in the plane crash. That must be her grandfather. What's his role? Is he going to be one of these monks? What the hell is happening? Are they actually going with the shrine soaring soul stuff? Raina definitely has a huge role to play. In fact, in our ending, we saw her looking at the moon and then we saw in this ritual, the moon again. So, yeah, she's definitely out to resurrect him. But is this all just a misdirect? And the Heiachi part in the trailer was non-canon? And he's just DLC? You never know with these guys. They put stuff in trailers to try and throw you off. Switching around the orders of stuff. But yeah, we saw the guy with the long hair with a Hachi scar, so... Yeah, it's all over the place at the moment. We're gonna have to wait and see. Again, this is all speculation. We don't know until it comes out. But if it's the same old shit, and you don't be surprised. People, doesn't this just kind of remind you of wrestling? Where you have all these companies that can't build new stars and keep bringing back these old guys. In terms of wrestling fans chants, same old shit, same old shit, same old shit. They won't give the new guys a break, they can't breathe. Wow. But hey, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it. John. John needs to do something. you all gotta give that girl her time in the sun. John needs to do something in this expansion. That's a damn sure. I'm looking forward to Eddie's chapter the other characters chapter in fact who's the third character people who's it gonna be is it gonna be bruce now that we know that fakum runs out of the picture bruce has a good chance you know me i like wang but there's no chance of wang returning hey why not ogre i'm done with ogre return at this point you can bring by anyone of course you heard talks of anna lay but what if the last one is a guest character? Of course you heard the rumors about a Mortal Kombat character. Is that even possible? Johnny Cage, Scorpion? Probably not. Maybe a Virtual Fire character, Akira? Probably not. Tifa? Who knows? People, how do you think Heihachi survived and who do you think is the last character?